Thanks, Dr. Smithson. Actually, the health components of COVID-19 and the eyes are relatively poorly understood. What we do have is some early data. Now, there's been no great long-term studies that are done or have been done so far because of, again, the crush that the healthcare system's been under. Initially, what I can tell you is there was actually a report that possibly they found virus in tears in China in one patient. Since then, a large Singapore study just was published and they looked at tear volumes in a lot of patients actually that had the, from the early onset of COVID to 20 days after the onset of symptoms. And this included people that had eye symptoms like red eye. And all of these COVID patients were positive or were testing positive with nasal swabs or oral swabs. What they found when they looked at this is they could not isolate any virus at all in the tear film of any of these patients, regardless if they were at early onset, in the middle of the disease process, or even once symptoms went away. They even looked at patients that had no symptoms and were testing positive, and they also had no viral component in their tears. So that really puts in question of whether or not the tears are a vector for infection at all. We'd like to concern ourselves with this though because the inside of your eyelid is a very vascular mucous membrane and that's where you get a lot of the allergic response and, and typically other diseases can be transmitted through that tissue. But as far as the tears, are they a vector for infection for COVID and can you get it through your eyes itself? It looks unlikely for right now, but by no means are we sure. So for right now, we proper we practice the proper hygiene when it comes to touching our face, obviously, because that is a vector for the virus to get infected. We wanna be very careful with hand washing, with contact lenses and things of this nature. And as a general rule, yes, we want to cover the respiratory system. That's the most important place to cover. If you're outside, it's always a good idea to wear sunwear anywhere that might give you an added layer of protection. And in general, these concepts of increased hygiene or increased due diligence when it comes to you know sanitizing surfaces, cleaning our hands and things like that, that will likely not go away from doctor recommendations like us or even from the CDC or other organizations that oversee health and well-being. So we want everyone to be safe. The good news is right now it looks like it is unlikely that COVID is transmitted through the eyes. So that makes us feel a little bit better, but certainly we're going to stay very vigilant on this. And if patients did get COVID, or let's say you are a patient that has experienced symptoms of COVID, what we are seeing is in a small percentage, they are getting conjunctivitis or a red eye, even though it doesn't look like that causes or the tearing causes them to be contagious. So if you do get red eye and you have an upper respiratory fact tract infection or a fever, clearly we want you to call your physician right away and, and get some counseling. If you just have general symptoms of COVID, like a fever or a respiratory cough, we don't want you to go to the ER. We don't want you to go to emergency rooms. We want you to call your PCP and remain at home until you get better instruction and likely ride it out while you're at home. So thanks for listening. And we want you to tune into more public service announcements from Sports Vision Pros.